Years ago, my wife and I were going through some personal difficulties. We were making a decision about whether or not we were going to stay together, very frankly. Everybody in a relationship, I believe, has these moments and times when there's a struggle there and you've been together for a while and you're, you're not certain whether this is the right path and you're thinking about these things and so on. And it was, nevertheless, it was a very difficult time emotionally for both of us. And I can remember years and years ago, as we were going through this, what it did for me to be in that state. I became much more loving. I became much more concerned with other people. I became less concerned with the pettiness of so many things that you find yourself worked up about because I had a, like a different focus in my life. And I can remember thinking as we resolved it and got back closer together and today are very close and very loving together, looking back on that time as like something that I had to go through at that time. And that what it did is it helped me to see how absurd it is for us to be focused on the minutia of life, whether or not the walls are clean or whether or not the toys are put away or whether or not your food is prepared on time or whether somebody is late with something or whether the phone doesn't ring or does ring or whatever. Like all of those things are so minute in contrast to what you're really struggling with. And then what it also helped me to do in terms of getting this big picture was to look at some of the things that other people were going through some of the problems and difficulties that they were having. Very often when something goes wrong in somebody else's life that we're close to, one of our parents gets ill. There's an accident of some kind. When Marilyn had that accident, I can remember uh, how it affected me. And it gives you pause to remind yourself that you have a lot to be thankful for and that you have a very powerful mind here that can make anything happen that you want to happen as long as you keep yourself centered or keep yourself focused. I was able to shift from all of those petty little things. I can remember I was doing a show out in Seattle at that time that I was going through that tough period. And somebody asked me a question that six months before I would have answered sort of flippantly, sort of smart alecky. It just it wouldn't have given it the attention that it deserved. I would have thought of it as perhaps too trivial. And I can remember looking into the woman's eyes who asked me the show. I was on a TV show out there in Seattle and thinking, because I was struggling at that time, I became much more compassionate towards this person, much more tuned into the pain that they were feeling, even though it seemed trivial in comparison to what I was, and it allowed me to get to be more loving. And then I look back on that now, and I think, well, that's what I had to learn. <laughs> that's what it was for, that there's a purpose in everything, and that perhaps one of the things that I had to learn eight or ten years ago was how to be more compassionate, and perhaps the only way I was going to learn how to be more compassionate was to have to go through some of this stuff myself. So, like, you can do that. You can do that now in your own life. Know that there's a lesson in this for you. Know that there are no accidents in this perfect universe. And know that the deep troubles that you may be experiencing or, or, may, or may be hard for have something in them for you, and that there's a secondary purpose to them. And if it does help you to slow down, and if it does help you to get a bigger picture, and it does help you to be more compassionate and more loving towards other people, then what you do is you begin to bless those things that are in your own life as offering you an opportunity to transcend them. And once you've transcended them, then you don't have to go back to that again. And for sure, my wife and I do not have to go back to ever doubting whether we want to make it and whether we want our family to stay intact and whether we want to stay loving and so on. We don't ever have to question that again. We've been there, and we both learned how to look within and when you do look within, to be grateful for what this person is offering you. So that every time I think about my wife behaving in a way that I don't like or vice versa, we've learned how to zip it, <laughs> you know, how to, how to just not make ourselves miserable by saying things and by doing things that will just create more difficulties. Because we've been on the edge, we've been to that edge, and we've looked over the edge and seen what it's like to maybe have to raise a family as a single parents or whatever and to be without each other. And now we're a tremendous source of strength to each other instead of looking for the things that we don't like. So the, the way to the big picture often is through seeing the problems in your own life from a different perspective and seeing how difficult other people have it, you know.